What's up guys, it's your casual gamer and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up a PC game launcher called LaunchBox. This program will allow you to combine all of your different emulators and your entire ROM collections into one organized and very good looking spot. Oh, and you can also add your Steam games to LaunchBox as well. Okay, so before we download LaunchBox, I must let you know that LaunchBox is completely free to use, but if you want more features as well as Big Box, you're gonna have to pay for it. And in case you're wondering what is Big Box, well to sum it up, it's basically a controller friendly mode that looks good on bigger screens, mostly TVs with a lot of animation. Somewhat like how Steam has big picture mode. Now if you buy a regular license, it will cost $30 and you will still have to renew your license every year for $15. A forever license that does not require you to renew every year is $75. And if you already have Big Box and just need to renew your license is $15 and $45 to upgrade a grandfather license. Anyways, I know most people that are using this for the first time will just go for the free version. So that's what I'm going to show you how to set up. The LaunchBox homepage will be in the description below. Let's go up to the top and click on download and I will be downloading this for Windows. Now to get your download link, you're gonna have to enter your email and this is what they will send you in your email and you wanna click right here and your download will start. Here's the LaunchBox setup file on my desktop. Let's go ahead and open this. Select your language, English for me. You can read through this if you would like, then go ahead and accept the agreement, next. Choose a location on your computer where you want to install LaunchBox. I'm going to go ahead and leave it on my C drive. If you would like to install it somewhere else, go ahead and click on browse and you can install it on your SSD, external SSD, external hard drive, wherever you like. Next, choose where you want the program shortcuts to be installed. By default, it will create a program shortcut folder in the start menu folder. If you don't want this folder, you can click down here but I'm fine with it being in the LaunchBox folder. Next, ready to install, install. Now at this time, if you are not currently logged into Steam, Epic Games, Amazon, GOG, or Ubisoft, go ahead and log into those storefronts. You wanna be logged in before we launch into LaunchBox, and I will show you why once we open the program. Okay, so if we check out the pop-up in the bottom right of our screen, you will see a message saying we have automatically imported all of your games from the storefronts that I mentioned a minute ago. So if I scroll through, you will see that LaunchBox has added all of my Steam games for me. So let's say you have a account with another storefront that wasn't logged in so those games didn't get imported into LaunchBox. What you want to do is go up to Tools, Manage, Storefronts. And these are all the storefronts that are compatible with LaunchBox. Now I do have an Epic Games account with games installed, but I wasn't signed in so those games didn't get added. So either I can back out of LaunchBox, go over to Epic Games and log in, or you can simply log in from here. So I can just hit Log In. I'm gonna go ahead and log into my account real quick. I am now logged into Epic and my games have been automatically added. And just to prove that to you, I'll find an Epic game exclusive. There we are. As you see, there's Fortnite. Now I'm going to show you how to add your ROMs and emulators to LaunchBox. Let's go up to Tools, Import, ROM Files. Go ahead and hit Next. Select the files to import, so go ahead and click on add folder. And you want to locate wherever you have your ROM files installed on your PC. I have mine on an external hard drive in this folder right here. Then hit select folder. You should see that folder's location right here. Go ahead and hit next. What platform are you importing games for? Those ROMs are PS2 ROMs. So I'm going to hit the drop down arrow and I'm going to find PS2 right here sony playstation 2 next what emulator would you like to use i'm gonna hit add 
Now since it detected that I am uploading PS2 ROMs, the emulator name is PCSX2. If you upload some ROMs and you don't see the name of the emulator you're gonna be using, then hit this drop down arrow and you will be able to find that emulator in here. For the application path, this is where the emulator is actually located on your PC. So I'm gonna hit browse, and now I'm gonna go ahead and locate where I have my standalone PS2 emulator. It's in this folder on an external hard drive. It's right here. Click on it, then hit okay. Would you like to move or copy the files? So if I select this one, it's gonna copy all of my PS2 ROMs into the LaunchBox game folder. This one will move the games into the LaunchBox game folder. And this one will allow you to play your PS2 ROMs through LaunchBox, but it will keep those ROMs in their current location. And that's what I prefer. So I'm gonna use the files in their current location. Would you like to download metadata for your games? I always leave this checked. This will supply game information about each of your ROMs. Next. Would you like to download images for your games? Now you have a lot of different options in here for cover art and box art for your games. The ones I prefer to leave checked are the ones that are gonna be checked by default. Now since we are using the free version, we don't have big box, so we can go ahead and uncheck this one. I'm gonna leave my box back and box front checked, clear logo, fan art background, and screenshot gameplay. Like I said, it's up to you what you wanna check, you can go through and check every last one of these if you want. It's totally up to you. Next. We do not have MU Movie, so we're gonna skip that. Next. Would you like to specify any custom options? This should be checked by default, but one important thing to have checked here is combine ROMs with matching titles into a single game. Now for PS2 games, it really doesn't matter that much, but if we were uploading GameCube games, they had quite a few of those games that came as disc one and disc two, and by having this checked, it will combine both of those discs into one game. Next. Ready to import is gonna show you all of your ROMs that are about to be imported into LaunchBox, and finish. Okay, so all of my PS2 ROMs have been added to LaunchBox. To get to those games, you wanna come over here to the left, click on this little arrow next to consoles, and you will see every emulator that you have uploaded to LaunchBox. In my case, we only have PS2, so we'll click on Sony PlayStation 2. Now if we scroll through, you'll see all of my PS2 games with cover art. And if you click on a game, over to the right, you will see a screenshot of that game. They have the release date, developer, publisher, your playtime, and that will be your launch box playtime. Some more information about the game. You can see how many players the game has, a description, and they even show some related games. Now, depending on how many boxes you checked when it asks what kind of cover art and box art will we like to install on our games, you can access that by going up to image group. And from here, you will be able to change your box art to something else you selected. For an example, I'll go to clear logos. And if you notice, it just changes all of my games to logos. If you feel like your game boxes are being displayed too small, up here in the top right, click right here. In this bar to the left, if you move this up, it will enlarge your box art. You shrink it down by going down. And when you are ready to load up a game, you simply click on that game and then go over to play. Now you will notice the emulator that's gonna be running the game will pop on the screen for a second before loading into the game. So another quick tip is to make sure that all of your standalone emulators is already set up outside of LaunchBox. If you need any help setting up any emulators, I have plenty of guides on my page, check them out. Thank you guys for watching, I hope this video was helpful. If it was, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will catch you in the next one. Peace.